Hey, what the f you mean this, Rico? All right, you guys, so before we start cutting, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin my son's hair up with my duck clips, just so that I can make it easier on myself cutting the sides. So the way that I'm gonna attack the sides is I'm gonna make sure the hair is laid down. And to do that, I'm gonna damp the hair a little bit. That way it's laid flat. So now that I got the hair to lay flat, what I'm gonna do is gonna clip her over comb. Now, in my clipper over combing, I make sure that I'm paying attention to the shape. I'm gonna leave a lot of that bulk that's on the top because I want the hair on top to have something to sit on because when it dries, it's basically gonna poof out a little bit so that the hair, when it hangs over, it just doesn't hang flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my comb at a 45 degree angle and take off a lot of the bulk on the sides, basically with the lever open using my instincts. Now that I have the shape that I want, I could go up with my two guard and basically go all the way up to that bulk, knowing that I'm not gonna go any higher than that. I'm just gonna go and flick out, making sure that the hair runs smoothly into the bulk that's on top. I'm gonna set in my bald line using my Coco trimmers and I'm gonna set the bald line as low as possible. Next guideline, using my Stylecraft Instincts with the lever fully open, I'm going up about a half inch, making sure I keep that same width all the way around. Same thing with my one guard with the lever open. I'm going up about a half inch, keeping that same width all the way around, making sure that I scoop out because I don't want to set a harsh guideline at the top. So I'm gonna re-damp the bulk at the top, 
That way it lays down best when I'm blending into the bulk that's on top. So instead of taking the two guard and running the clipper straight up, I'm gonna clip her over comb, but I'm gonna use the clipper over comb a little differently. I'm gonna actually stick my comb in and blend into the bulk that's on top by going upward with my clippers. So I'm sticking the comb in and I'm going to that one guard area and I'm just barely seeing how much comes out of that one guard area and I'm just taking out the rest by scooping up. So going back with my one guard, this time with the lever fully closed, in a flick out motion, I'm softening up that middle line. Next, using my zero guard with a flick out motion and using my corners and only my corners, I'm attacking it slowly, flicking out that middle line. Now, what I did with the one guard, I was just softening up that middle line to make it easier to take it out with this step. So this is what I call detailing as you go. Um, using the zero guard clothes, sometimes it doesn't take out everything that you want. So I just go back and kind of detail that area between uh, where the zero guard was. So I go in with my lever open and kind of just detail, detail those areas using my corners. With the lever fully closed and a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Now, if you need to go up any more, just adjust your lever as you go up, all right? And last but not least, what you wanna do to finish off a nice blend is detail your work. Detailing is most important. It separates you from just being an average barber. And what I like to do is I like to refer to the mirror. The mirror shows you a different perspective on the blend that you can't see just head on. 
Also, sometimes I like to look away from the mirror, just rest my eyes, all right? Because sometimes your eyes can get confused just looking and staring at a blend for so long. So I like to rest my eyes, come back, and basically just do corner work. Knock out some of those bulk areas using different guards that I used uh, in different areas. <laughs> So I'm gonna prep my son's hairline basically by brushing it down uh, and taking it down to a 1.5, all right, with a lever fully closed, which is an actual one, not a 1.5. But um, for me, this is the perfect length, um, you know, to where the lineup is the most crispy. son didn't want anything cut off the top so right now I'm gonna take out my duck clips he wants his hair curled so I'm gonna spray his hair with water getting it nice and soaked and then put some um, you know it's just some curling product in his hair So right now, I don't know what he's doing, but right now I'm going to make sure the hair is fully dry by using my pick and basically blow drying it. Um, just not trying to disrupt the curls as much as possible, but when the hair is fully dry, you would see it won't hang over as much, especially when I pick it out like this. My father barbers out there sometimes we neglect our son because we too busy cutting other people but when i sit him in a chair i spin him in a full 360 and they come out looking like listen you guys hide your wife hide your girlfriends hide your spouses my son is out here looking good come on now what you mean what you mean Where your, where your 
peace at? Where your peace at? You supposed to say peace.